हे गाइस दिस इज अ फ्रेंड मैं नाग फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू बैक टू आवर चैनल एंड अनदर वीडियो ऑन टेकला स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइनर सो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू डिजाइन अ बेसमेंट वॉल इन टेकला स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइनर यूजिंग वेरी सिंपल स्टेप्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील जस्ट गो टू द मॉडल ऑप्शन एंड विल जस्ट डिफाइन द कंस्ट्रक्शन लेवल्स लेट से विल डिफाइन अ लेवल बिलो इट एंड विल गिव इट अ हाइट ऑफ माइनस वन पॉइंट टू मीटर्स and a level above it will give it a height of let's say 3 meters and then click on okay so we define the levels after we define the levels let's create a grid line so we'll just take a grid line here we'll press f2 and give it a distance of let's say we'll create a grid line of 3 meters so after we have created the grid lines we'll go to the 3d view after we have gone to the 3d view we can just select the particular frame on which will work and just put the shear walls so for selecting or making a frame you can go to the frame option here and you can just select this particular frame so after this frame has been selected what you can do is you can just go to the structure window and open the frames and then double click on the frame in which we want to make the particular shear wall or the retaining wall so here in the shear wall the concept of loading all of you know that in the bottom there is a maximum load and it varies and it is the minimum at the top so suppose uh, on the portion you know below the ground we can apply the variable uh, patch load so uh, suppose we'll just take a particular construction line parallel construction line so suppose we'll take a line be below this see this is the portion below the ground at which the loading is to be applied is 1.5 meters below the top level so we'll just make a level here so that we can apply the load here and after that we can just join this particular grids with the help of the construction lines so after this has been joined now we can provide our shear walls so for providing the shear wall the simplest option is you can select the meshed walls from here you can check that this particular meshed shear wall option has been selected so after that you can apply the shear walls using all the points pick point 1 pick point 2 pick point 3 pick point 4 you can double click on here so the shear wall has been created you can go and see it in the 3d view after that you can go back to the frame view and now we'll apply the loads for applying the loads let us first select the particular option of dead load here and after we select the option of the dead load we can just go to the loading option and we'll select the option of variable patch load now for applying before applying the variable patch load you're going to load note down its direction as you can see in the 3d view the loading should be applied along the x because the load of the soil will come along this so i will apply the load along my x global x axis now we can just select a particular reference node this is my reference node pick point 1 will be this pick point 2 will be this pick point 3 will be this and pick point 4 here i will double click because this is my area which i am defining single click double click and after that it is asking to me to give the position of the uh, load 1 so this is the position of the load 1 load 2 and load 3 So as you can see, load one and uh, load three have the same value. So if you just go in the 3D view and also observe, we'll just uh, turn on the dead load. As you can see here, this is the load which has been applied. If you want, you can validate the model. Validation is okay. We are good to go. We'll just go to the load option and we'll generate a load combination from here. And we'll just click on generate. Next, 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 finish. Okay. so load combinations has been generated and after that after generating the load combinations and we can just go to the particular analyze option and then click on analyze all static so after clicking on analyze all static and i can select this and right click and then design wall static so the wall has been designed and if you want you can check the detailing results in autocad also or you can just close this and right click on it and click on generate detailing drawing or see the report for the member you can see the reinforcement details of the member also as you can see 12 mm bars at a spacing of 400 mm has been used 
and so if you want you can just generate the detailing drawing also right click on it and click on generate detailing drawing the drawing will open in the AutoCAD file so friends as you can see this is the drawing of your particular shear wall uh, as you can see the reinforcements have been mentioned the height all the levels have been mentioned and you know that there is a section which is showing the reinforcement details all bars as you can see the 12 mm bars have been used so this was the reinforcement drawing and if you want you can also see the results you could go to the results view and after that you can just uh, click on the 2d results you can see the deflections as you can see these are the deflections which has been showing so this is the process of designing your shear wall or the basement wall in Tecla Structural Designer. Hope you like this video. If you want professional training from us, you can do so using the link which has been given in the description below. Stay tuned to our channel. Keep learning. Bye bye.